James Sabolski here for EA Sports, and welcome to gorgeous Raleigh, North Carolina. Great place to enjoy some family time, and here we go. It's Hurricanes hockey tonight. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz of this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. The Avs take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Picked up along the wall by McKinnon. We saw the defenders try and jostle him off the puck there, James, and they just can't do it. I mean, they can try and get position on him, but trying to push him off the puck, that's just not going to happen. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Driving right to the front. Scooped into the trapper by Anderson. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Carolina's looking to break out of their own end. Forces the turnover in the offensive zone. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Moves the puck behind the net. And now it's grabbed by Landeskog. Colorado's got it from behind the net. And he scores! takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries at home. Colorado's efforts pay off as they get the game's first goals. We inch closer to the midway mark of the first. Yeah, and they're inching closer and closer to more goals here as they get the first one of the game. And sometimes scoring is a struggle, James. But when you put one by the tender, often it comes in bunches. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Avs take it along the wing. Look at the Savardian spinorama. And the puck leaves the zone. tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck, and when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. The Avs grab possession of the puck. He scores! Casey Middlestaff! The goaltender, he's going to want this one back, James. I thought that he was set to position. Just the blast of the shot, it hit him. He got a good chunk of it, but it went in. You can see the frustration in the body language. The Avs extend the lead by two here in period number one. Well, I really like their play up to this point in the first period here, James. I mean, they've got themselves a two-goal cushion because they've been relentless on the puck. But now it's about continuing to be urgent, not getting complacent, and sitting back, continue to attack. Receives the pass. To the low slot. Scores! Make it three in a row, and they're coming down. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy, every single shift. They're getting it in. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gain that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. Carolina's won it. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. The Avs get a hold of it. Nice zone entry from the left. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Runs away. Getting into the later stages of this period, the Hurricanes are trying to get back into this one as they still trail by two goals. And they win that draw at center. 
And that pass goes off a stick. A feed out front. And that's deflected off someone in front. Moves it to the middle. Score! What a finish on the play. Colorado's taken advantage of their opportunities offensively so far here in this first. More shots, more goals. Quick feed to McKinnon. Here's a shot. Well, he certainly did there. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Slides it across to Landeskog. Puck moved over to McKinnon. There you go, period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. Here we go, lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment? The Abs have been the better team all night so far, James. I mean, they've owned the puck in all three zones, and when you possess the puck, guess what? You're never in danger on the defensive side of it. They've done a great job of funneling the puck to the net as well, and that's why they have a healthy lead. Colorado's got it in their own zone. And look at this! Gets in front of it and stops that rush. Turn that chance aside. And this is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. And he takes the feed with authority. Puck scooped up by Ojo. had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. And they win the draw here in their own end. Colorado's crossed the line and on the attack. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a club on it to make the stop. Anderson's really struggled tonight and the team in front of him as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum at this game if they want to get back in it. From the blue line, they take control of it. Club save! Taken along the wall by Taves. Works it across to Wood. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Overrising hit in the corner, and he's going to feel that the rest of the game. On the attack along the boards. This is a golden opportunity there. Sometimes there's pressure on players when they get into that prime time scoring area. And because of it, they rush the shot. And I think that happened right there. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Oh, they do it again. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Lekkonen scut it against the boards. Way too much congestion blocks that. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Gaining steam here on the attack. Oh, he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Quick pass across to Colton. Tries it to the crease. Green hits up play with the stick by Kotkaniemi. Easy pad save made by Anderson. Great read in the offensive zone by Drew. And there's another stop. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Carolina's got the puck behind the net. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Cutting to the net. That's a save right there. And there's a violent collision. Quick whistle stops the play. Trillin's going up 
for elbowing. at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Welcome back, James Sabalski, ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. The Hurricanes' power play continues to start the frame and they win the draw. Colorado's got the puck shorthanded. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Solid check to slow him down. Here's a rip. There's a great close save by a Noonan. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Cuts to the front. Scores! Coming up clutch short-handed. Wow! Well, you got to love the aggressive nature of this PK unit. They jumped, they attacked, and when they lost the puck, they found a way to cash in and convert on the opportunity. We don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. Colorado's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Carolina's got possession of the puck. Trennan's almost ready to get back on the ice. Carolina's coaches will not be liking that power play opportunity as they fail to convert and give up a shorthanded one. Scores! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. I guess, and there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build out that last shift. are showing a little pride here in the third. Really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. The Avalanche have taken possession of their own end. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Answered the call on that play. Passes the puck over to Pesci. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. And he takes the dish. McKinnon's been buzzing out there, James, tonight. I mean, he already has a goal. This is a blowout game. A time to pad the stats. Colorado's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Picking up some steam at center ice. Poked away in the offensive end. Wood scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. Takes a shot, and there's the save. And he coughs it up with the pass. Puck grabbed by Walker. They go on the attack through center. On the back end, scores! And look who's at it again. Well, it's the second of the game. Too bad you can't bottle these games up and just recall them whenever you want because he's been all around the net. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Colorado's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Beautiful saucer pass. Moves it quickly over to Drury. Made the stop on the play. Puck picked up by Middlestaff. Taken by Nachuskin. 
The Avs cross the line and gain the zone. Face it to the front. Decides to think about it. Quick pass to Taves. Here he is on the backhand. Scores! And the road team is having themselves a party in this barn tonight. And I don't think anybody except them like it. No one likes it in this building, that's for sure. I mean, fans are leaving. They paid money for this ticket. And if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there. But you can't. There's more game to play. This is a tough one, James. Colorado's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Chenfield's got it in the defensive zone. He's got a step. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going to